Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can create this sort of cliff face in Odini and also how to apply some procedural texturing with cups. So let's get started in the top of the network. I'm basically creating a grid and scattering some points. Also applying some point cheater on the z-axis and copying some boxes over. Here I'm just randomizing the aperture to have random orientations and also the scale, not the p-scale but the scale with uh, an attribute noise. Then I'm just applying some overall distortion with the mountain and box clipping so so I can cut off the top in there as you can see and also filling the holes then from here I'm applying let me remove the lighting uh, I'm applying a mesh sharpen to have this more polygonal look that you can identify better as rock shapes then doing a basic VDB conversion so I can unify the mesh and also some some boolean intersection to cut off some shapes as you can see in here this just will help to give some variation basically with a remesh attribute blur pick it a little bit a mountain and then doing a boolean intersection then again another mesh sharpen and you start to see the planes of the rocks that's the idea and then using a doing again a VDB conversion to have the mesh with better shading now I want to quadri mesh it but as you can see we lose some detail although I'm using 50,000 polygons but before it was 600,000 so I'm subdividing the mesh and then re-projecting it to the original mesh with minimum distance this way we can get the, the fidelity but but keep the a better topology then I'm doing some uh, some cuts on the rocks with a volume pop in a VDB setup as you can see uh, basically by manipulating the, the frequency of the noise in this case is just a, a simplex noise and added some turbulence, turbul turbulence noise to the position to distort it a bit and then just uh, fitted the values to have these cuts on the rocks and I'm caching this this will be my eye poly with no UVs for now so then I'm poly reducing in this case in a loop so uh, it can be a bit faster and quad remeshing it as you can see and this will be my low poly I just need to do some UVs for that I'm scattering some points creating an attribute with the point number and transferring it to the mesh as you can see so I have this mesh divided into tiles then I'm just promoting it to a primitive attribute and iterating in a loop uh, using a UV flatten and this will UV my mesh and then just lay it out and this will be my final UVs then that's my low poly mesh transferring the UVs over the main mesh and this is how it looks as you can see it did a pretty good job this labs UV transfer then measuring the curvature and uh, and creating an ambient occlusion pass so I can texture these in cups 
So in cups, let's see how this looks. So this is basically the texturing, which is again pretty basic. I'm importing the iPoly, rasterizing to UVs, in this case set the space to UVs, then rasterizing the attributes, in this case the, con the AO, the concavity, the convexity from the curvature, and then the alpha. Then create from the AO mask I'm creating a mono to RGB. As you can see and I sample the texture and then resample the the ramp using the, the the snippets I shared in the last video on the resample color ramps then doing an HSV adjust just to color correct a bit the initial colors then from the concavity, I'm applying some color correction again. I can show you how that looks. So on the low poly mesh in this case. So basically, I'm darkening those concave areas. Then doing another HSV adjust. In this case, brightening the the convex areas as you can see if that's oh, not this one this one as you can see i'm brightening those areas and since we have these sort of issues due to our uvs i'm just taking the alpha and extrapolating the boundaries as you can see and that should fix our issue So now for the vines, uh, it's nothing too complex really, this can get pretty complex if you want to create a growth system and whatnot, but I just kept it as simple as possible, basically by importing the low poly, clip it and scattering some points, then sorting them by the Y axis group ranging some of the top points to be our start and then some at the middle in here connecting edges uh, adjacent pieces adding some cost attributes by using some noise and finding the shortest path as you can see fusing the points polypads resample it with subdivision curves and then create these curve branches which is a labs node that allows you to create some branches i just said it the hda and promoted the global seed from here i am splitting the the branches creating an orientation along curve so I can copy some leaves to it, but before that I have the, the, the vines and just sweeping it, as you can see. And for the, the leaves, I'm creating again the orientation, grouping some points randomly, so where I will copy the, the leaves. Doing an attribute randomized for the p-scale and then for the leaves i'm just drawing a curve as you can see pretty randomly fusing resampling doing a mesh sharpen to have these sharp corners resampling again uh, creating the geometry deleting the curves remeshing and creating some uvs then I'm doing some UV transform to fit uh, a texture to it, as you can see, and also did some bend. And I have three variations of leaves, so one darker, one more orange, and one lighter. 
that I'm doing I'm doing the attribute from pieces so I can randomize the the lips and in the copy to points I am using the piece attribute in this case class from this connectivity node and attribute from pieces set in this case to piece weights and then I'm just copying the the leaves and all together it comes something like this and with some lighting it will look even better so yeah guys that was it hopefully you got something out of this and don't forget you can grab all the files from my videos in page on my patreon and also check out my courses there other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you next time